Seventy percent of Republicans think the election was stolen. Thirty percent of Democrats think that. So the American people know something is wrong, and I think the court, I'm confident the court will do the right thing. If our republic is, is transformed by theft, it's a, it's, a, it's a very threatening moment. The process isn't over. What we've watched is the fake news media try to tell the American people that the election is over and they should go home and be quiet. So this is a big step in making clear that, hey, there's a lot of things that have to be settled. And as we dig into this, Pennsylvanians were robbed of an, a fair election and too many Americans were robbed of a fair national election. And that's what you see. Texas Attorney General Paxson, God bless him, he filed a suit today saying that the election was so off base that it can't be honored and we, we agree with that. Well, if, the, if the Supreme Court doesn't take the Pennsylvania case, there's still other cases working their way up. I mean, again, I, I mentioned to you, if you fight a battle and, I, and one of the fronts is the judicial, is the law, it's only one front. I, I don't put all of our, uh, our, our weight on it. I think it will be important. I think it's, to be honest, this argument is, th this case is most important right now because the media tonight will try to tell the American people the election's over, the electoral college has been picked. That's just simply not true under the law. So uh, if they don't do the right thing, there'll be more ways to fight again. You know, uh, um, I, I see none of these setbacks as ending points. I see them as setbacks, and you keep moving forward. Well, the, when you say the path is unclear, every path in a battle is unclear until you look back and see how it went. So, I, I, But I concede with you, I agree with you, that people are tired. They're tired of the propaganda. They're tired of the uh, the way it's being positioned. And I just would encourage people, you know, some many of the people started here today in prayer. Uh, whatever the prayer life of people, whatever gets them focused, be, be strong in this. The American Republic, at its heart, is about empowering all the people. We the people give our power. Power, not we get it from God we don't get it from each other America has always taken up the fights that some people say are impossible and so and they we do it with honor and we do it with righteousness and we usually win you know we almost always win but the part of us is that we just do the right thing and so I think people can be satisfied in that I feel very strong well, you know in in 1776 the Americans were across the river in Valley Forge and they had lost a lot of battles and people said where's this going to go and uh, George Washington went over to Trenton and and started what was a movement that gave us this great republic and gave us freedom and prosperity. I, what I think is happening right now is the corruption of this election has frozen a lot of the forces in this country and that as it moves forward we're going to break through the corruption like the ice flows in the in the river at Valley Forge and we're going to see that the truth will win out and ultimately I think Donald Trump will serve a second term as president. I, well let me make two observations. One thing is uh, President Trump has, has proven over decades of his life life that he is a uh, innovative leader that he thinks differently than most people what he, he what most people think is impossible he thinks is uh, interesting to try so I wouldn't put anything past him that's an observation the second thing is when you're president of the United States you know a lot more than the regular citizens one of the dangers during Obama's last days was he had more knowledge and intelligence about the American people and he was using it to take advantage the unmasking the spying on the campaign all that I think the president of the United States knows a lot more more than we do. I know he does. And I think he's looking at it saying there are major problems and uh, and we're going to see things move. I do think today uh, the Texas lawsuit is a big deal. Um, the Texas lawsuit is basically an assertion that Texans and its people would be disadvantaged by the election being overturned. They, they voted resoundingly for Donald Trump. If the election's overturned because of fraud in other states, Texans are, are damaged. So I think that's very compelling and I think that's going to make a difference too.